plan our hunt on public land that I've never been to. So you've signed and picked this little area, this gully system. Now the job is to work out how we'll hunt. You picked a much bigger system, but how we'll hunt. So we're looking at the weather forecast, the lay of the terrain, trying to estimate what this vegetation is going to look like once we get in there. And the way I like to think of it is, here's the terrain. Let's put an overlay of deer where they're likely to be here in their beds. And then we'll be walking with the dog strategically over the overlay of the deer. And we'll start hunting probably by nine o'clock after a hearty Simon prepared breakfast. the trainer as a deer dog you're never going to get rid of the bird dog out there i've never seen a live bird nest before let alone a chick but what a construction site that's little joys and the cool things you find out samba hunting Did that get it? Holy shit, <laughs> this guy can shoot. So Dottie took us down. Dottie took us down the dog, I don't know, 150 meters, indicating the whole time in this pretty crappy country. Simon with his radar eyes has seen the fellow at the bottom. How far? 99. 900 meters on a fallow downhill and um, we couldn't get any closer because one of them was probably onto us a little bit and I said to Simon um, what do you think and he said 
that's not a hard shot for me. Broadside, standing still. And he shot it and it ran about... We think we've got it. I think it ran about 30 metres and then we heard it crash down and Simon saw it roll. This guy, take a look at that, that is a cross between William Tell, Robin Hood and Rambo <laughs> with all the camo. <laughs> He's a machine. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Uh, if you can have a dog like Dotty and a guy like this with a bow at 100 metres, anything's possible with a bow. It's, it's unbelievable. I'm speechless with that. <laughs> Unreal. Well, we're at the scene of the crime. This is uh, the spot where the deer, that fellow was standing. And uh, we've got blood in the first three or four metres. Uh, I saw it fall it's just after it was hit. And it's left a fair old blood trail down the hill. We haven't looked for it yet. We haven't found the arrow. Um, he was standing by this fallen log. And uh, I think we would see the arrow if it had, if it had gone through. I think we'd hit bone on the other side. And it's probably still in the deer, hopefully. My uh, iron wheel outfit is broadheads. I'd like to get them back. <laughs> oh, let's track it down. So we better chase these footprints down and see what we can find. Let's follow Dotty. Blood bath. Yeah, yeah, it's blood out this wide. So it's coming out both sides. It is squirting. So what did you say then? There's blood here as well. Oh, so you got blood there and blood, blood there. Yeah. Oh, I mean look at this. You are deadly my friend. Don't stand still at a hundred meters. Deadly. Or more blood down here. Deadly. Yep. Oh. Holy smokes. I don't need the dog to follow this blood trail. Holy smokes. I don't think we're going too far. <laughs> this is as good a blood trail as you'll ever need. The dog's, the dog's probably got it already. It's just gone out of sight. It's contouring here. There's a dead deer, my friend. Hundred metre shot, and the deer didn't make it as far as the shot. <laughs> that's that's some, like to That's something with archery. If your deer goes less distance than the shot, right on, Dotty. That was about as easy a tracking job as you'll ever have. Look at this. Wow, well, we. Two o'clock in the afternoon, midway through Samba hunting in some country that holds some fallow deer, quite obviously. And um, as we saw in the video, the dog pointed, well, it worked down about 200 metres onto these deer. Answers the question, can you train them on more than one deer species right here? Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. She went down about 200 metres air scenting, went on point. Old radar eye up the back here goes, oh yeah, there's a couple of fallow down the bottom, in about that level of excitement. <laughs> I said, oh yeah, there's a couple of fallow, they're a bit far. He goes, oh, they're only 99 metres. And um, here we are. <laughs> Another dead deer that's ran about half the distance that it was shot from. And another beautiful shot, double lunged it, down it went. Changed the whole game of bow hunting, this guy. Terrific. Dogs, deer and bows. What a combo. Well, mate, we loaded up with venison again. Fellow. Two days, two carry-outs. Fellow on the menu this time. Okay. Mostly downhill, isn't it? All downhill. <laughs> All downhill. 
Every good state fire should have a wash basin. Tempted to have a wallow. <laughs> 